Hey everybody, Matt here. I'm uh, going to be doing a video here today on my prep slash gun storage closet. I uh, had a lot of people ask me about it. I did a video on it a few months ago and people have been asking me, hey, have you made any changes to it? Have you updated it? I have, so I thought I'd do a video because people keep asking me. Um, so let's just kind of jump right in. The biggest changes are going to be on this side of the closet. You'll notice a lot of space up here that I didn't have before, space down over there I didn't have before. Uh, but let's just jump right in and tell you what all I've got going on. Obviously, we got a gun sitting there. That's my 22 Savage, uh, getting a new case for it, so that's why it's kind of out right now. Uh, <clears throat> clothes down here, clothes over there, my wife's stuff, my wife's stuff all right here. Got uh, shoes of mine up there, old gun cases that I just can't get rid of. Uh, down here, got water. Uh, these are the seven gallon aquatainers. I got another five gallon over there. This kind of complements all this water over here. Now I've got uh, water storage in a little pantry area over by my kitchen where I've got a lot of the water we drink daily in there and we kind of rotate it out with these as we're filling this stuff up in addition to the the water we've got over at our uh, our other house basically the family house where we, where we have water storage there too uh, up here this is usually filled up with buckets but right now I pulled the buckets down because I'm doing another video on those because a lot of people have been asking me about the buckets and how that's going uh, so what I've got up here now is I've got uh, sugar that's a 50 pound bag got a little bit of leftover rice got some beans got uh, salt that's a 25 pound bag 10 pound of uh, sugar more salt there some uh, mountain house and backpackers pantry which I need to put in the bucket bags just haven't done that yet and this is like I said this is just stuff that hasn't made it in the buckets yet I uh, just haven't uh, either they're either due to get mylard up or or uh, vacuum sealed or whatever and put into uh, various buckets and just haven't done that yet. <clears throat> Down here we've got my wife's bug out bag, which is pretty new. Uh, we just put got that put together for her here in the last uh, couple weeks. And of course, there's my bug out bag there. You guys seen the video on that. And basically, what I did is I had this thing completely loaded up for a family of five and we kind of split the load here now each each one can serve as its bug as a as its, as its own independent bug out bag uh but the, all the extra stuff for a family of five has kind of been split between the two of them so um up here we've got reading material you guys saw this last time i did a video uh, just all the survival books and LDS cannery and miscellaneous stuff and and you know uh, all the medical books and stuff on herbs and natural remedies and all that stuff uh, same stuff from last time pretty much in the same place as last time um, <clears throat> right here I've got the uh, oil for the generator got a little propane stove uh, this is kind of a junk drawer of just extra stuff this is kind of a junk drawer of extra stuff now if you guys will remember from last time I had uh, the stuff I had in here, a lot of it was toiletries. I had extra toilet paper stocked up in here. I had extra toothpaste, toothbrushes, uh, dental floss, uh, mouthwash, shampoo, conditioner, soap. A lot. I, I made room basically in my bathroom uh, under the cabinet. I've got a pretty big cabinet, so I've got a, a three foot by two foot by two foot uh, space under the cabinet that is. And all my toiletries are now shoved in there, so they're not taking up room in this here anymore um, this is all uh, this is basically the same drawer as it was last time candles lighters matches all stuff to uh, light things up uh, this is all batteries um, just tons and tons of batteries not as many as some people have but it's pretty much all double A's and triple A's this is uh, all electronic stuff we've got extra flashlights um, you know little uh, dome lights like these things here you know push lights uh, my uh, Itten uh, solar crank slash battery weather radio from the Red Cross. Pretty cool. I like that thing. Uh, let's see. Hydrogen peroxide, which is good for all kinds of things. A little bit of pool shock, a little bit, little, little bit of uh, backup of water purification. Uh, over here, we got gun stuff. This is just just stuff, man. I just got all kinds of stuff. Holster stuff within the gaunt, uh, safety goggles, paperwork, more holsters, all kinds of stuff. This is cleaning supplies. I got a lot of old rags, a little gun oil. This thing works great. This is one of these little things. You can get these at Walmart for like five bucks or something. They're just a little plastic organizer that uh, works great. Keeps keeps everything in your house from smelling like the solvent that is in there because it seals up good. And they're real cheap to get. Uh, let's see what we got down over here next to the water. We got uh, some small propane bottles. 
We've got my, uh, my, my, what do you call it? The go bag, I guess is what I call it. We've talked about that on uh, blog TV before, but I'll probably do a video on that sometime soon. Uh, here we've got, let's see, holster, knife sharpener, lots of flashlights. Some are cheap flashlights, some are good flashlights. Really just depends on which one you're looking at. Uh, knives, 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 and brass knuckles, just for the hell of it. Uh, this is all my larger bladed objects uh, that I just don't have room for anywhere else, so hanging them up it pretty much gets them out of the way. Great for storage. Um, here we've got, um, let's see, the shotgun, the Mosin, the other Mosin, the AK-47, the other shotgun and 30 out 6 are over at my brother-in-law's house. Here we've got the SIG. Let's see, there's the Glock 17. That's Smith & Wesson m and That's, I think, my 20, is that my 22? I think it's my 22. That's the uh, Officer's Model 1911. That's my PT-92. That's my full-size 1911. I don't remember what's in here, but I'm sure there's something in there. I know I've got more guns than that. Uh, there's my broadheads, my carbon bolts for this thing right here which I need to take out and get some more practice on. Um, ammo. Now, this is not all my ammo. I've got uh, a lot of shotgun shells and stuff over at my brother-in-law's house. <clears throat> uh, but we'll just go through what I've got here. 7.62 by 39. 7.62 by 39. Those are 500 rounds each. Uh, 9 millimeter, 9 millimeter. Uh, mostly 22 with some 45. I don't stock up on a lot of 45, as you guys know, but I, I do keep it around enough to shoot. Uh, 7.62 by 39. 7.62 by 39. 7.62 by 54R. Don't have a lot of that. Need to get some more of that too. Um, the other thing, like I said, I don't have a lot of shotgun shells, and the ones I have aren't even here, except for I think I've got a couple of boxes in another closet. Uh, I really need to stock up more on that and on the the Mosin ammo. Uh, those are two that I'm kind of low on at the moment. But um, and we got a uh, fire extinguisher there. So that's about it, man. Uh, nothing too special. Uh, but that's the updates to the closet. Uh, shows all my uh, my fun stuff, all my prepping stuff. Well, not all my prepping stuff, but a lot of it. So anyway, that's it. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.